What's up, everyone? This is Saint Set and I went back once again for some more Let's Play Persona 4 in the last part. We went through a crap ton of social linking and ranking ourselves up. Mostly with the characteristics. But in this part, we're going to start off by checking the Midnight Channel. Like we usually do. And this is pretty much the part in where you have to you have to save Rise or else she's she's pretty much doomed. Kanji, why didn't you give me a stuffed doll too? Over here! Yosuke went over to check out the scene. He should be back soon. <sighs> yeah, it was murder, all right. The body was hanging upside down on an apartment's rooftop railing. But how could that... That's not all. The victim this time... It was King Moron. King Moron? You mean that King Moron? Senpai's homeroom teacher? Wh why? What on earth's going on here? How am I supposed to know? But I talked to a guy there who saw it. It's true. There's no mistake. You gotta be shitting me. Ain't the killer targeting people who get shown on TV? I ain't never seen King Moron on the Midnight Channel or any other programs. Why? Why did this happen? I thought we finally figured some things out. W were they all just a big coincidence? Maybe the Midnight Channel doesn't have anything to do with this. Damn it! We came so far, and now we're back to square one! Were we in over our heads, trying to catch a culprit that even the police couldn't find? Damn straight! We started this thing because the police can't tell their asses from their elbows. We give up now, and that shithead's gonna be on the loose forever. This ain't the time for bitching and moaning. We just gotta keep on keeping on. Kanji kun. Huh. Big talk from someone like you, Kanji. What what's that supposed to mean? Uh, I know. We're dealing with a murderer here, but we've all risked our lives to get this far. No way we'll back down. And we promised the bear, too. Hey! That's right. Maybe Teddy knows something about this. 
Well, since moping around won't do us any good, let's go see him. That's unusual. Hi there. Did something happen? Ah, Yosuke-kun. Great timing. Did the manager tell you anything about this? There's been this weird mascot around our department for quite a while now. Is there some kind of campaign on today? Mascot? He said his name was, uh, what was it? Terry? Eddie? Well, there are no customers around, so I guess it's fine. I better get back to my station. Please don't tell me. Whoa, he's here! Uh, this really hits the spot. What the... I mean, how'd you... It took you guys long enough. I've been waiting. Teddy, are you okay on this side? How did you even leave your side? Of course I can come out. There's an exit. It just never occurred to me to do it before. But spending time with you all sparked my curiosity about this world. I did wonder if it was a good idea, but my feet started moving before I could decide. And when I thought about it, I had nowhere to go. And it was a waste to go back, so I waited here for you. Oh, someone asked for my name, so I told them, I'm Teddy. So that's why. Oh, yeah, there's something we need to ask you. How long have you been here, Teddy? Did anyone enter the other world? I stayed until the fog settled in on my side, but no one came. You're positive. You really didn't sense a single person. I just said that I didn't. I was there all by myself, like always. <laughs> and your nose wasn't clogged or anything? Aren't you listening? I was utterly, totally, and 100% alone. That's why I came over here. But I can understand if you don't believe me. My senses aren't that good lately anyways. Oh, Sensei's heart is radiating pure kindness. Well, it's true that the Midnight Channel was blank last night. And even before that, Teddy says he didn't sense anything, right? Does that mean King Morin was never on that side? Uh, what's going on? Hey, I want to go somewhere. Huh? Now ain't the time, dude. You seriously don't plan on going back, do you? Where do you want to go, anyway? I want to give this to Risei-chan. It's for her. Risei-chan will probably back us up from now on. So I'm gonna fight alongside you with everything I got. Don't think of me as the same cute little Teddy. I'm an all new model. I have a powerful attack, an unbeatable defense, and a winning smile. Today begins the new legend of Teddy. Wow, a new legend. People are starting to stare. Keep it down, will you, Ted? Come on, let's go somewhere else. Okay, 
Just to make sure, I'm gonna ask you one last time. Nobody was over there except for you until the fog came back, correct? That's what I've been saying. He didn't show up on the Midnight Channel either. What's up with that? No clue. But I think we can be sure now that King Moron was never thrown into the TV. Then what? He was killed over here? Why not throw him into a TV like all the rest? They never intended to. So you're saying he wasn't like the other victims to begin with? But why? Maybe the culprit thought he couldn't kill any more people by throwing them into TVs. I mean, we prevented his last three attempts in a row. Ah, I get you. That could be it. So they snuffed someone on our side this time to make sure it worked. Damn it. If that's true, then we have no way of preventing more murders unless we catch the killer. We need more clues. I wonder if Risei-chan's up and around yet. Yeah, we'll have to put our hopes on her. <sighs> it's so hot out. I'm taking this off. Wait, you're not talking about your head, are you? Cut it out! There's kids watching! Jeez, they'll be scarred for life if they see an empty mascot walking around. Have a little consideration, man. I'm glad you're back to normal, though. Your fur's all fuzzy again. Can I... Can, can I feel it? No. Actually, I'm no longer a hollow bear! <laughs> I trained and trained. Hoping to someday score with Chie-chan and Yuki-chan. And now, I finally have an inside. Yeah, good job with that. Come on. Can't we give it a rest with the whole scoring thing? Dude, you're hollow. Taking your head off isn't gonna cool you down. But I just told you I'm not hollow anymore. Yeah. <laughs> It's too hot! I can't stand it! <sighs> it's so hot! <sighs> oh! What the? <sighs> Much better. <sighs> now that hit the spot. Hey, Chie chan, Yuki chan. Yes? Do you have anything to wear? I'm basically like a newborn at the moment. Teddy? Is that really you? Uh... Wait, did you say you're like a newborn? Uh, then don't take the bottom part off. <laughs> uh, you need some clothes, right? Come on, let's go look around. That's... Teddy? He said he's not hollow anymore. So, like... He grew himself a body in there? What kind of creature would do that? I mean... What is he? <sighs> then again, this is hardly the first bizarre thing we've seen. And I gotta admit, it's probably better than him walking around in his bear suit. Oh, hey. Weren't we gonna see about talking to Rise? I was so shocked that I lost track of what we were talking about. Let's head over to Rise's place. 
As for Teddy, he's with the girls, so he should be fine. It's finally the season for Topsicles again. Dude, how many are you going to eat? You're gonna get a stomach ache. <sighs> Sorry, we're late. How'd it take you that long to find clothes for Ted? Whoa. I is that you, Teddy? Oui, monsieur. How do I look? Ugh, don't encourage him. I have to say, it totally blew my mind. But he's, he's Teddy, all right. This guy had to make it a huge ordeal. Everything was new to him, so it turned into a big mess. He was so excited in the women's section that he started blabbering. Hey, you can't just go around doing whatever you please when you're in this form, got it? Well, he can't help it. It's his first time in our world. <sighs> all right. You don't need to get all mopey like that. I never said I won't forgive you. I'm so glad. I was worried that you didn't like me anymore. <laughs> Man, if you can behave yourself, you'll be pretty cute. Is he cute? What do you think, Kanji? Huh? What are you asking me for? Well, I was just wondering if he was your type. Oh, I get it. What you're really asking is, will you please beat the shit out of me, Kanji? <laughs> it ain't funny, Yukiko-senpai. Give Yukiko. She's helpless when she gets this way. Oh, please, everyone. Don't fight over me, baby. Shut up! You picking a fight with me? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, well. Here, Kanji, get whatever ice cream you want. Just share it with Teddy. We're gonna head for the tofu shop. Wait here until we get back. Wow, you're rich. I can't just take this from you. Think of it as a welcome back party for Teddy. Just don't go around making a racket. Oh, Yosuke, what's gotten into you? You're acting like a real senpai all of a sudden. Oh, I get it. You might say differently, but you're still nice to Teddy. Oh, I'm glad Yosuke's developing into such a mature adult. Someone who doesn't let trifles bother him. What? You're worrying me, Chie. Oh, it's about Teddy's clothes, that's all. We, we didn't have the money for them, so we charged the rest to you. Charge? What? You put it on my account? Oh, what the hell, Chie? I never said you could do that. What else were we supposed to do? The stuff was expensive, even for Jeunesse. You seriously charged it to me? Why would you do that? You know I've been saving up to buy a motorcycle. Oh, that? You don't need one. What? Come on, baby. Stop fighting over it. Shut up! This is your fault, you know. Ugh. You listen here, Ted. You better take really, really, really good care of that. If you put even a single tear in it, 
I'll make your next set of clothes out of the bear hide you took off. Yo, Teddy. Don't let it get you down. Let's go get some topsicles. Let's go on ahead. I think they're going to be a while. feeling you'd come. You're... Are you here to ingratiate yourself with Risei Kujikawa now? Jeez, why did the clerk even let them charge it to someone else? Huh? Wait, you're that guy we saw with Kanji. Precisely. I don't believe we've met since then. In fact, I don't believe I've ever introduced myself. My name is Naoto Shiragane. I'm investigating the multiple murders that have occurred here. Mind if I ask you a few questions on the subject? The latest victim, Kinshiro Muraoka. He was a teacher at the school you all attend, correct? So what? The public is focused on the fact that he is associated with the second victim's school. But in truth, that's irrelevant. What intrigues me is the inconsistency. This Moraoka has never appeared on television. What do you make of that? How are we supposed to know? Well, we'll leave it at that. For my part, I'd like to solve this case as quickly as possible. I'll be keeping an eye on you all. Well then, until we meet again. Who is that guy? It felt like he completely saw through us. He even knew about the TV thing. Oh, hi. Risei-chan! Are you okay now? Good, good. Are you all here to check up on me? Well, yeah. Oh, um, do you guys have a moment? There's something I want to tell you. Follow me. My grandma's taking care of the shop today. Huh? Sure, okay. Yeah, I remember being at my house. When I came to, though, I was already in the other world. Still no real information on the killer. We met this weird kid named Naoto a second ago. Oh, he's come to the shop several times. He asked me a lot about the incident. I didn't tell him anything about the other world, though. I figured it'd be a waste of time. Actually, he asked me about you guys, too, but I just made up some stuff. Like, they found me unconscious on the roof at Jeunesse. Well, I guess that's close enough to the truth. Um, so... Hmm? What's up? Um... I really appreciate what you did for me. Thank you so much! I love you guys! Huh? Aw, oh, you don't have to thank us. Dude, she's so cute! Man, it's finally hitting me that you're the real deal. You really are reset. Well, I know I sounded gloomy and all from stress, so I, I thought you might not like me that way. Do I sound weird? 
Oh, but I guess it sounds more natural this way to the public. I'm sorry. I've practically lost touch with what the normal me is like. <laughs> no need to apologize. Just do what comes naturally. I think everyone has multiple sides to them. You don't have to force yourself to decide on just one. <laughs> it sounds convincing when Yukiko says it. Huh? Uh, really? Mm. Thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're the first people I got to know here. Oh yeah, we almost forgot your present. The teddy glasses. Um, y you don't have to take them, but... Well, um... Senpai, would you be struggling without my help? I can help you in that world, right? With my power. So wouldn't it be better if I joined the team? These are kind of like proof that you're one of us. I see. I do remember you all wearing glasses over there. Thanks, Senpai. Now I'm part of the team, too. I'll be going to Yasugami High starting tomorrow. But I don't have any friends yet, so don't ignore me, all right? I do owe you my life, so, you know. Wow, I didn't realize you were so cool, Senpai. This sure is a rough time to transfer here, though. The kidnappings, King Moron's death, all that and exams are soon, too. Oh, exams. Now I'm depressing myself. I wonder if there's any chance they'll be cancelled. I doubt it. They always hold exams, rain or shine. <laughs> I almost got killed by those monsters. Compared to that, exams are nothing. Alrighty then. Let's discuss the case some more tomorrow at our special headquarters. Yo, how's it going? Dude, Teddy ate five topsicles. Though if you count the ones I had before, well, that makes six, so I still win. No one asked. We're all done talking already. Let's go, senpai. Uh, when did you get so chipper? Do you go to Yasugami like senpai? I'll be starting school there tomorrow, so I hope we get along too. Huh? Oh. Cool. Uh, what grade are you in? <laughs> so, where's Teddy? He's over there, finishing up his fifth Topsicle. What are we gonna do with him? Well, I guess I'll take him home. <laughs> 